Hey guys, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. It's Mike Crick of 113 in the, uh, on the workbench making antennas again. Uh, I want to have a shout out to uh, Red Baron. Red Baron, I really appreciate this uh, for uh, letting me uh, use a little bit of the uh, ground wire here and uh, really want to say thank you. But uh, make an antenna for my buddy right now. Uh, this is a, a, a 220. So 1.25 centimeter. Uh, it's going to be a quarter wave ground plane. Uh, so he'll be able to use that with his uh, Baofeng uh, UV9S or UVS9, whatever it's called, tribander. So it's a real small antenna, but it's going to be a lot better than using that rubber duck that comes with the uh, with the tri-bander, the 220. So in the uh, in the description, I'm going to put a link to a antenna calculator that I, I use. Uh, you could plug in your frequency that you're going to use, and it will give you all the dimensions you need for your uh, your ground radials. And your driven element, which is this guy here, is a little shorter. Your ground radials are going to be a little longer, depending on the frequency you're trying to work. Uh, this is really good for uh, if you're building like 2 meters, 70 centimeter, 220 antennas. Um, if you're building something bigger, uh, you know, whether it be for, say, 10 meter, 12 meter, 11 meter, whatever, uh, you're going to have to use something a little more uh, rigid than what I'm using here. But for what I'm doing... This is gonna work. So we have our uh, SO239, we got a male here uh, for the driven element. I kind of just filed and sanded this down. This is gonna fit inside there and then I'll solder it. And then for the ground radials, you got your, uh, these holes, so you know, the holes there in your uh, bus, their uh, they're, uh, inside diameter there is, uh, what is it, uh, 0.138. So, uh, thousands, so 138 thousands. So you can get some, uh, I got 632 screws and nuts. Uh, they're around here somewhere that I'm gonna put through. And then I uh, got some needle nose pliers and put a uh, little ring on that. So I'll just attach that with the nuts and the bolts. And uh, that should be good to go. Now the magic number, when you pitch these down, is gonna be 45 degrees. Uh, 45 degrees so if you don't have them at 45 degrees your your ohms are around 32 ohms uh, when you pitch them down to uh, 45 degrees 42 degrees some people say is the magic number uh, your ohms go to about 50 so uh, 50 ohms is your coax that you're running into uh, the bottom here so that's what you want so it's a really simple uh, thing to do you can get these on Amazon. I usually get the ones. Well, you know what? I, these are males. I got these this last time. Sometimes I get the females, uh, which makes it easy too. Uh, but you can get these on Amazon, five or six or one, you know, pretty cheap. So for some, and the wire, well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Red Baron, for that. But, uh, yeah, you can get that pre if you have that kind of stuff around the house and uh, some rigid solid wire. Uh, this is probably about 12 gauge, I think. And then, uh, you know, a bus, and you're good to go. You can make yourself a uh, quarter wave ground plane. And I'll, like I said, I'll put the description of the uh, of the website. I'll put a link to the website in the description, and uh, you should be good to go. So it's a little fun little project to do on a Saturday. Looks like we're going to be getting some rain, so that's why I'm out here in the garage. Got my little soldering iron there, and I have this set up, the vice grip, just to kind of keep this uh, still while I'm soldering. And, uh, I don't have one of those soldering holders, so this is what I use. But uh, it does what it's, it does what it needs to do. So anyway, this is uh, Mike Creek at 113. Uh, Skip was rolling uh, this morning when I was out in the mobile, uh, so hopefully it's still doing the same, and I'll be uh, up in the shack later. I just wanted to show you what I was doing, making another antenna, and uh, have a good one, 7.3s. So uh, keep working on those radios, and 
hey, build your own antennas. They're uh, pretty cheap to make and pretty easy to do. A lot of videos out there explaining how to. So anyway, have a good day, guys. And 7-3 uh, at all. This is uh, Mike Cricket 113. We're clear.